In the 80s was all about life in the fast lane. Everything was, I want it now, now, now. And that led to the growth, massively popular growth, of the microwave. It was discovered by chance by an American engineer in the 40s who was standing in front of a radar when the chocolate bar in his pocket melted and led him to invent the microwave oven. This piece of kit became so massively popular in the 80s, people thought you could and should cook everything in a microwave. And by that, I really do mean everything. And this recipe really caught my eye. It's from a 1980s microwave cookbook. This is a classic French lobster thermidor cooked in a microwave. Why on earth would you cook lobster in a microwave? Well, there's only one way to find out. In the 1980s, lobster was the ultimate in food bling. It graced the wedding banquet of Princess Diana. And as a nation, we spent over 200 million pounds on shellfish alone. So it was only logical that for the flashiest of ingredients, you'd be able to cook it in the flashiest of gadgets. I do find this very strange. This whole process is still going to take a good 15 minutes in the microwave because you've got to put it in, take it out, put it in, take it out. Making a lobster thermidor from scratch probably takes, say, half an hour max. Oh, bleeps off. Here I go. OK, next stage. This recipe is the microwave version of the hokey cokey. Back in the microwave. It requires the dish to be put in and out of the microwave no less than eight times. Out it comes again. I could have floated my company in this time. In the 80s, top-of-the-range microwaves cost over £800, and they were hailed as the start of kitchenless cookery, with the owner's profile being of a well-educated and sophisticated woman who thrives on activity. The question is, after all the activity of this recipe, what's it done to the lobster? It tastes OK, but the lobster is just obliterated. Trying to cook something as refined and as expensive as lobster in a microwave is utterly pointless. But it does sum up the 80s. The 80s was all about style over substance.